welcome back to Creekside Maples. I'm Tony. I'm Joni. And it has been a long time since we've made a video. As you know, if you've been with our channel for a while, you knew I had to have some shoulder surgery and I've not been able to use my arm for anything. So I've really been taking it easy. Um, we tried to do a little work on the computer, but I found it was really um, making my hands swell up a lot worse when I tried to use the keypad to edit and things like that. That being said, we're back. We're doing good. I still got two weeks to go in this sling. Lovely, lovely piece mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, you know, hardware, I guess. Um, but anyway, we are getting better. The shoulder's doing much better. I'm almost pain-free. I've had not, uh, not had any complications from the shoulder surgery at all. Um, so we're happy to be back. And the first thing we wanted to do was just obviously welcome everybody back. Mm -hmm. And so glad that we're back. We're going to try <laughs> to get some stuff accomplished here. It's been a very busy uh, month and a half since we talked to everybody last. Mm -hmm. I've done a lot of harvesting. A uh, lot of uh, my wife has carried the load of everything uh, because obviously I couldn't, but she uh, has put up a lot of vegetables and things. And we'll get into that a little later. Mm -hmm. But the first thing we wanted to do, I'm really excited. Um, we, for a long time, have wanted to make our own flour, mm -hmm. grind our own, um, you know, beans and uh, corn and mm -hmm. all the other things, herbs and all that goes with it. So after doing some research, we decided to get um, a, cough, a, a grinder mill um, for all of our different things that we want to do. And so today, we've not had this out of the box. We thought it'd be fun mm -hmm. um, to open this up and see what it does. So right. you will see it the first time with us. I <laughs> do not know what's in this box as far as a machine, as far as a, a, a mill goes, a grain mill goes. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to find it out together. I will uh, read the specs. It is uh, obviously 110 um, volts. It is uh, capacity-wise 300, 350. Um, I guess they got G here, so that'd be grains, I guess. Um, and the grinding fineness is from 70 to 300 mesh. Um, it has a timer on it um, from zero to five minutes. Um, and then it does uh, coarse to super fine, and the speed is 28,000 uh, RPMs. And so we're going to just kind of see uh, basically what it will do. The make of this one is, let me see here, it is a, yes, it's from the company C Golden Wall. And I found it on Amazon, um, I forget what I paid for it, somewhere around 170 bucks or something like that with free shipping. So we're going to open this thing up and then we're going to plug it in. Then we're going to see what it does. Mm -hmm. um, I can't do much because of this, um, so Joni's going to, you know, do a lot of the unboxing here, and we'll just tell you what's in it. First thing is this. Uh, I guess this is the service manual. It's the instructions, but who who needs those unless <laughs> by the end of it it's not working? That's when you get into the instruction manual. <laughs> All right. So we have the power cord, and we have um, a little brush which is, must be for cleaning purposes yeah and the blades blade attachments two different blades here so we got styrofoam and it sits down in here i don't know how heavy it is Careful. there we go all right let me see if there's anything else I don't think there's anything else down. Nope, that's everything. So, there's that much of it. Okay. Get the styrofoam off it. Um, first impressions, it's all metal. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's plastic is these little knobs. Um, I guess they tighten and loosen it so you can tip the uh, thing over. Um, it looks pretty good, it nice does. and sturdy. Yeah. Uh, the timer is here. It's got, uh, you know, because it's working very hard, it has an overheat uh, uh, circuit protector. So that's a reset. I don't know what else to say. Let's see how the top opens. Yeah, I guess the top has these little clamps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how that works. So, and these little clamps are adjustable. You can turn them one way or the other to make it a tighter or looser fit. 
So that how do we get the top off? Oh, I right. guess we have to turn it somehow. Well, I guess we're gonna have to read this must knows before use. Yeah, one thing I do know about it is that if you look on this side, it has a uh, little cap right here. It's kind of a little thumb screw that you can loosen yep. or tighten. The and that allows you to dump this. Mm -hmm. Once you're done, you just dump it and uh, it'll dump the uh, milled grain out of it. So that's that. So that's how that works. But to get the top off, I'm not sure how to adjust. adjust the screws. Well, that's pretty easy. It's just a thumb screw adjustment right here. Yeah. So that turns this way. Yeah. Oh. So that's the top. That's a filter. That must be a filter. And already a blade in there, and then we have extra blades. Yeah, so that would be some kind of a filter. I guess you would uh, so dump any, that, whatever comes out, you dump yeah. it in here and that would filter it. Now all, the, all your flour goes down here. Well, no, your flour stays in here. So what's this, the bottom part? That's like the, the motor. motor. Okay. So let's open this up. I need to get my glasses. <laughs> so it looks okay. Turn the power on. Mm -hmm. and then it pulverizes it. And you pour the powder or powder out, I guess. So we did get some uh, grain. Grain. So apparently this is how you get the material. So I'm going to walk over here and get some grains. We've got some whole wheat grain, and we've got uh, some steel cut oat grain. One of the things that we really want to get is, um, what's it call, called? Einkorn. Einkorn, yeah. Um, but here where we're at in Canada right now, trying to find einkorn, it's almost impossible. Right. We, uh, the closest place is in Alberta or Saskatchewan, which is a long ways from here. And so we have to send for it in the mail. All right, so this plugs in here. Yes, so that's the plug. Turn it this way, and it just so happens we mm -hmm. have an extension cord all ready to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put that in there. We have a light on here. And it says the machine has combined the switch and timer together. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's, I guess, get a few. Uh... Which ones we're going to do? Well, you know what? Let me grab some. I brought some crushed corn as well. So we will take a, uh, a little bit of this up. corn. We'll sift it. Yes. I don't know how much we got there. This is a cup here. Well. Just like Christmas. So this <laughs> is a cup. We'll pour it in. So that's one cup. Well, we might as well try two cups. Yeah. I didn't put much in there. No. Pretty good size. So there is two cups. That is cracked corn. So let's move this out of the way. Uh, here, the friendly reminder. It says the use time should no more than three minutes. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't think it would take longer, right? Yeah. So it let's... It says even if grinding stone. Yeah, so let's see if we can put these back in. Tighten this. And it takes... Back up. You need to rest it between the working. Don't fill the grinding tank too full because the way this machine works is it needs a space to complete the cycle of the grind powder and the material to be grinded. So, are we ready? Yeah. Let's set it to, what, two minutes? Wow. Okay, so that was a minute and a half. So we're going to open it up and hmm. 
would you locate the So we are grinding uh, steel cut oats. They're organic oats. Our camera quit um, when we were doing the corn, so I don't know how far it filmed before it stopped filming. So just to recap, in case we missed all of the corn, what we did was two cups of corn, cracked corn, and it gave us some really nice cornmeal for muffins, um, any well, just about anything you use uh, corn flour for is there. And that only took us about three minutes. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, just in case we didn't get it on the, you know, on the uh, recording um, before the camera quit, I've spent about $5 on organic seed, um, corn, uh, steel cut oats, whole wheat oats, and that's about it. And so for a small amount of money, you get a large amount of yield. Mm -hmm. We got two cups of over two cups of corn flour there. We just put a cup and a half of steel cut oats, organic steel cut oats in the mill and it ran for a minute and a half so we're going to see uh, what it gave us for a yield and what it looks like. Well, that That's looks absolutely good. wonderful. Mm -hmm. So if you can see that, that it's absolutely gorgeous flower. It is. Very pleased with that. All from just regular uh, organic grain berries. It's, that's all that's from. So if you take a spoon and you look at it, it's very clear. So if we take our sifter, and I'm kind of curious what it's going to give us here. So we'll tip it. Put a little bit in the sifter here just to see. And I want to see kind of what it gave us here as we sift it. Because if you want it really, really fine without any kind of larger pieces at all, you probably are going to need to uh, get your grandmother's old flour sifter out. But that's coming through nice. Mm -hmm. That's pure, refined, sifted flour. Now it's not bleached. Right. No no additives, anything. Because once you start bleaching it, you no longer can call it organic. It smells so good. So there we have it. And it's just sifting through and there's hardly any large material left. What I can say is that was a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. If we dump that in and we put this, now you want to clear around your lid here. You don't want stuff between your lid and your gasket. There's your gasket there. You don't want to blow a gasket, okay? <laughs> Close it up, twist it. There it is. And we're just going to do it. Uh, uh, turn the timer on and give it another minute and a half. What I'm curious about, I want to actually check. So I'm going to use my timer and see how long it runs. So we will hmm. do it this way. So that ran about a minute and 15 seconds. So, I, unless it overheated a bit and shut itself off, it didn't quite run the full length of the timer, or I didn't have the timer set completely it's correct. Kind of but it does get warm. So we take this off. And yeah, though that smells just mm -hmm. like so, mm -hmm. so good flour right there. Yeah. Really nice flour. That's really fine right there now. So it did a really good job on that flour. I'm very pleased with that. And if we take this and if we dump a little in, see where it gets us. I don't think we're going to have any um, 
leftover chunks mm -hmm. at all. I don't think. Now this is a hard way to sift it because it's it's just kind of shaking it through a little uh, filter pan. But if you had the actual flour sifter, which I see we're going to have to invest in. Yeah, because I can see that there's no, there's just no chunks left mm -hmm. at all. It's very fine. It's very, very fine. Yep. Very pleased with that. And that flour right there, you can take that, yeah, and you can bake with it, mm -hmm. do anything you want with it. So overall, what do we think? Well, let's see. One last thing. We put a cup and a half in. Just cleaned it all out. Excuse my head being in the way. <laughs> thing I will say, it cleans out really good. So there's that. Done. Just going to tighten this up here so it won't swivel on us. We'll put this out of the way. We'll put this here. Back on. Snap it up. And then we'll unplug it. Let her cool off. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Beautiful, nice, very good flour. Now this is just your regular white flour from your steel cutouts. This is your corn meal or corn flour from just regular corn that was dehydrated and dried, right out of the garden. Whatever you want to do, however you want to get it. And then we have the whole out oats over here. I'm not going to do those right now. We don't need, this would make your whole wheat flour. Mm -hmm. So you can use whole wheat flour for this. This is regular white, that's corn. And the other we're getting is uncorn. But again, we can't find the berries anywhere here, the grain berries. So we're shipping those in. It takes a few weeks to get it. And then we'll use that. Why einkorn? Because it's low in gluten. High in protein, better for your gut. It's an ancient grain. It's the oldest grain. Yeah. It really is. So that's that. So mm -hmm. what do you think? I think it's great. And um, I think, like I said, everyone tell us what your thoughts are on if you've ever done your own flowers. Um, let us know. Let us know how, how it all turned out. Your own flowers or made your own flower? <laughs> made your own flower. I knew after I said it that he was going to say that. <laughs> so again, it worked great. Um, it's not the most expensive uh, grain mill out there, obviously. There's some that you can spend thousands on. Mm -hmm. But for us, homesteading on, on a budget, uh, it's enough to do enough flour. Oh, yeah. um, you, can make, you can make enough flour to do your pancakes for breakfast and, and enough to bake a cake later. Um, so really that's all we need for, mm -hmm. for the quantity of the, of the bucket here in the mill. Um, it does herbs, nuts, corn, mm -hmm. grains, all of it, and we're pretty pleased with it. So, hey, if you're looking for a decent one, this one worked for us. Um, not knocking any others that are out there, right. and maybe some people didn't have good experience with this same model. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but for us, it works good. Thanks for watching. We're going to go make something with all this flour. <laughs> we'll talk to you again. Thanks for stopping by Creekside Maples Homestead. We're glad to be back on, and we're going to get our, our, our channel uh, videos up and coming um, a lot faster now. I'm getting out of this in two more weeks. Then i got six more months of physio, but at least once I get out of this brace, I'll be able to use my hand to work the computer and the camera better. That's right. So until next time, take care, and God bless. Take care. God bless. <laughs>